typical parenting is getting even harder, if you can imagine that. You're out shopping, you put the stuff in the back, you buckle up your kids, and in the blink of an eye, somebody's hopping in the driver's seat and taking off with your car. Unfortunately, this happened to too many people last year. It even happened to one single mom on New Year's Eve, but she had a way to find her car. WMER 2 News' Janae Wright spoke with mom tonight about how she got her stolen car back. Janae? Well, Courtney Russell is a widow and a single mother, and she met up with her in-laws so they could exchange gifts and babysit her son. And while she was trying to put him in his uncle's car, someone else was stealing hers. Courtney Russell was outside of Sam's Club in Timonium. She says that's when a man riding around on a bicycle hopped off, then hopped into her car. There's no way he's stealing my car. And then after a second, I'm like, he's stealing my car. And before she could realize it, he was gone. And the moment he seen that I got my son out the vehicle, he dashed in my car and sped off. Courtney also realized her phone was still in the car. Her brother-in-law immediately called 911. Meanwhile, a friend of Russell's tracked her phone and police were able to find it, but not her car. The officers went and somehow found my phone on the side of 83. And it wasn't destroyed. It, destro it wasn't destroyed. With her phone intact, she remembered she had an air tag attached to her car keys, and she was able to find the location of her stolen car. When I reached out to Baltimore County Police about the incident, they said, quote, air tags are an excellent tool for assisting in the recovery of lost or stolen property. If an air tag is in a stolen vehicle, please share that information with the responding officer. The technology may assist in the recovery of the stolen property. And it gives me the exact address of where my car was uh, sitting. Oh, well, I'm sorry, where my keys were at. And logically, that's probably where my car is. And while Baltimore County police say having a tracker like an air tag is beneficial, there are things to keep in mind. A person can take advantage of today's technology to locate their stolen vehicles, but should never attempt to recover it without police assistance. If they tried to recover it on their own, they could inadvertently put themselves in harm's way. Courtney met up with police in Baltimore City. Her car was on North Avenue. She had a towed since her keys were not with the car. Courtney says she found the air tag the next day after it was thrown out in the same location. I am grateful that I had that air tag because I don't think that I would have gotten off so lucky. Courtney now recommends other single mothers buy a tracker for their car since she was able to get hers back. I'm blessed that my son's safe. That's the most important part. And although Courtney found the air tag and her car, she was never able to find her set of keys. She says she had to spend over $400 to replace her car keys, her house keys, and her mail key. And Baltimore County Police have not located a suspect at this time. Kelly.